<laughs> yeah, so Michael has a Wi-Fi router question. This one's pretty straightforward. He just says, what Wi-Fi 7 router do you recommend? I've looked at the Netgear Nighthawk, and they have some for $299 all the way up to $699. Of course, the $699 is the one I want. It has the most features and the top speed. Yeah. Uh, okay, so... I need to test more Wi-Fi 7 routers. And I say that, and re, and that's true, but I could also say I need to test more Wi-Fi 7 routers like I need a hole in my head. But uh, for the sake of the show, I do. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, but thus far, the only ones that I've really put a test to are the Eero Max 7, which is $5.99 for each unit. And of course there's sales that can happen and all those things. And sometimes the sales are significant of like 20 or maybe 30%. But uh, so the Eero Max 7, and I've also tested Unify's U7 Pro Max. Those are $2.79 each. Okay. Uh, the Unify ones are access points only. So you also need a router, but you can buy the Unify Cloud Gateway Max for $1.99 and the price still is way less than the Eero. Um, I've had good connectivity with both of those. Uh, the, the Eero is a 10 stream device. So it's two by four by four. Whereas the U7 Pro Max is an eight stream device, two by four by two. Uh, with my iPhone 16, testing locally on my network with iperf so not doing speed tests so that my internet speeds aren't the limiting factor and in this case my internet speeds would definitely be the limiting factor sort of uh i am routinely able to get wi-fi speeds of 1500 megabits per second in both directions it like wi-fi 7 actually delivers on the promise of gigabit plus speeds over wi-fi and it really does work and it, it happens routinely i have two euros in my house one sort of at either end of the house on different floors and if i'm smack dab in the middle of them i'm probably getting seven to eight hundred megabits per second but if i'm in the room with the with the device it's and and i also have one uh, euro max 7 in my office usually right now it's a unify u7 pro max because i wanted to do some testing but with the Eero, I'm able to get 1500 with the Unify, sometimes 1500, more likely 11 or 1200. And that checks out with the different streams, I guess, because my iPhone 16 and the 16 Pro is the same, has four spatial streams, two by two. So uh, I, but maybe, you know, it finds the right ones in the, in the stream, in the thing that are negotiates the best unencumbered ones and sends data and all of that. Uh, I did say... And I said the the U7 Pro Max is uh, the one. They also, Unify also has the U7 Pro, which I believe is six streams. Yeah, so. Uh, so, like, Wi-Fi 7 works. It, it, it really, really does what we were promised for it to do. Uh, I do need to test some others because, as you can see, there's a massive price difference between the two that I've tested Uh I, I've re and I've moved from my Synology router, as I mentioned recently, over to the Unify Cloud Gateway Max. I love that thing. I have, uh, I moved to it primarily because the Synology only has one port that's faster than gigabit. And I, I don't understand why you would do that because you want to get data in and out of it, right? It's It's just a router. So... You would want a gigabit, a, a faster than gigabit port to your internet provider, and then also a faster than gigabit port to the rest of your network, because otherwise it don't matter. So <laughs> uh, yeah, that that's the part. I, and, and with Synology, you can use it for one or the other. Like the port is, it could be WAN to the, up to the internet or LAN down to your network. But um once I put the Cloud Gateway Max in, it has all the same geeky features that I liked with the Synology. It has an equally flexible interface that is probably confusing for a first-time user, but once you learn your way around, of course, it's fine. You you have to adapt to it. It doesn't adapt to you, but these are routers that there's a you know time-honored 
tradition of them being confusing. So it's just how it be. But it's fine once you once you spend a day with it. You're like, oh yeah, I know where to go, and you can search and all that stuff. But cool. With that, I, it has two two point five gig ports on it. My connection from Fidium, Adam, is a one gig symmetrical. Yep. One gigabit Ethernet maxes out at nine hundred forty megabits per second after all the overhead. Ooh. Once I moved to right, so that that's important for what I'm about to share. Because once I moved my gigabit connection to the 2.5 gig Ethernet ports and could actually send data uh, over those speeds, because like my Mac Studio here ha- also has well, it has a 10 gig Ethernet port, but that's enough. I had to move right. all my switches in the house and the office over to 2.5 gig switches, which I, of course I did because I'm a nerd. Uh, even on my Fidium one gig connection, I get 1150 megabits per second in both directions on a speed test up to the up to the cloud. So nice. it is over provisioned. It's faster than yeah, yeah, than yeah. one gigabit. Yeah, which does which makes sense. I mean, that's that's pretty typical. So, um, cool. So, so I I share all of this because these are the important factors uh, when buying. A, a router that's going to do Wi-Fi seven in today's world with faster with gigabit or faster connections to the internet. It's not just about the speed of the router or the speed of the Wi-Fi. You need no encumbrances on your connection 